In this video I will show you how to identify pin 1 on an IC or IC socket, how the IC pins are numbered, and how to solder an IC on a double-sided plate through circuit board. First let's look at some sockets. Here I have two sockets. One is an 8-pin socket and the second is a 14-pin socket. Both of these are dual inline packages or DIP sockets. It's important to know where pin 1 is on an IC or IC socket. The 8-pin socket has a notch on the left side. Therefore the lower left corner will be pin 1. For the 14 pin socket, pin 1 is not as easily identified. If you look very carefully at the socket, there is a pin 1 identifier stamped right on the socket. Once you've identified pin 1, then you count the number of pins counterclockwise. Here are two more examples of IC sockets. One is a 16 pin IC socket with a larger notch on the left side and we have a 18 pin IC socket with, with a smaller notch on the left side. Here we have two ICs. I always put the notch to the left side and then the lower left corner is always pin number one. You'll notice on the 8 pin IC there's a little circular indentation that also will identify pin 1 on the IC chip. When you're installing ICs or IC sockets into a printed circuit board, it's always a good idea to know where pin 1 on the circuit board is and where pin 1 on your IC or IC socket is. If you don't know where it is, there's no point in putting these components on the circuit board. This IC has identified it two ways. We have the notch on the left side here, and then we also have a dot indicating pin 1. So this pin here on the left side, lower left pin, is going to be pin 1. So for counting IC, uh, the IC pins, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, then we go up to the back, five, six, seven, eight. So the notch is on my left side. The lower left pin is pin one. So I'm going to count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I jump up, eight, all the way to 14 over here. So this is how we would do this IC and this would be a 14 pin IC. Sockets are also marked. There's a notch right here and then the lower left pin here would be pin 1. Again this is an 8 pin IC socket. I have identified the component side of the circuit board and I've placed a black dot on the circuit board to indicate where pin 1 is for all of the ICs. So for this 14 pins location, this would be pin 1. This 8 pin location, this would be pin 1. And similarly for these remaining 3. So I'm going to match up pin 1 from my IC sockets and the ICs and place the components into the board very gently. Okay, I'm going to put in this 14 pin IC. So I'm going to line up the one set of holes with the pins and then very carefully there we go we've got it in so now I'm going to hold this turn the board upside down so I've got it tightly to the board and I'm going to take one pin and bend it over and then I'm going to take the other diagonal pin at the other corner and I'm going to bend it over just like so. And now the component won't fall out of the circuit board so I'm ready to solder that. So I'm going to install a couple more parts. For this demonstration I'm soldering in a 14 pin IC which is right here, an 8 pin IC, 
and two 8-pin IC sockets. Now I'm making sure before I do any soldering that I've matched up my pin 1. So I, where I put the black dot, that's where my pin 1 is on the circuit board. So here's my notch on the left side, lower left corner, pin 1 on the 14 pin. Here we have the 8 pin. There's my black dot indicating pin 1 and there's the dot on the IC. So this one's in good. Here are the two black dots for the remaining two sockets. Here's my notch on the left side on both of them. Lower left corner is pin 1. So you're wondering, well geez, a socket doesn't matter which way it, that it needs to go in. Well it does because somebody's going to populate the board with ICs. They're going to look at the IC socket and match the IC with the IC socket. So you better make sure you get the IC sockets in correctly. For the 14 pin IC, I only bent two leads. I bent this one and the diagonal corner over here, this one. The others don't need to be bent. It's only to make sure that it doesn't fall out. I did the same for the 8 pin. I bent this one and I bent this one. For the two 8 pin IC sockets, I bent this one and then I bent this diagonal corner. Over here, this one's bent, and this one's bent. So everything's ready now to solder. All right, I have my board mounted in my helping hands here. I have my 60-40 solder here. I have a wet sponge to wipe my soldering iron tip. I have my soldering iron ready to go. Always give it a wipe before you start. And I'm going to leave my iron set at 650 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's zoom in and take a look at the soldering on those pins. Okay, I'm ready to start soldering. So I wipe my iron clean. Make sure it's always nice and clean. Bring it into the board. Touch the pad and the component lead and then bring the solder in from the other side. And there we go, 1001, 1002. Just like that. So we're not going to try to put too much solder on. There we go. There. Now I'm soldering underneath a magnifying glass. It just gives me a little wee bit better view of what I'm doing. Now you don't want too much solder running down these tracks. You just want to keep the solder localized on the pad and covering up the hole and so that it looks like a little volcano. So there I've soldered those 14 pins. Oh, I just missed one. So let's go back over here. There we go. Now you don't want to be feeding too much solder into the circuit board because it will go out the other side. This is a plate through circuit board. So you got to be very, very careful. Alright, let's try this 8-pin IC. Now before I start, I always wipe my iron nice and clean. And again, I'm using 6040 solder. I'm working underneath a magnifying glass. Never ever put solder onto your soldering iron tip and try to transfer it to the circuit board. That doesn't work out very well. If you notice you're putting or getting the board 
kind of black or brown, then that's not very good. You're just spending a little wee bit too much time on the board. As you can see, the eight pins didn't take me very long to do. Okay, I'm going to do this eight pin socket here. Now before I start, let's wipe off the iron clean. There we go. And let's start. Thousand one, thousand two. 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 There we go. Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed in a little bit too much solder on one of the IC pins. So let's just pick this one right here. And let's just see what it's going to do. See, I'm putting a lot of solder in there, but what's happening to it? Looks pretty good here. You can see that I've got a little wee bit of brown in there. Let's do this one. Let's put some excess there. We'll just see what's happening. And this works well for my demonstration using the IC socket because I'll show you where it all went in a second. Now here's what's happened to the solder when I was feeding it through on the other side it balled up over here and if I had kept feeding it these two pins would eventually be joined together and would cause a little wee bit of a problem. If I were to do this on the IC socket next to me I may not necessarily see what's happening because the IC socket covers up all of the pad footprints where on the ICs I get to see what's going on so when you're soldering IC sockets go light on the solder again this is a plate through board and you can see that I've got solder that appeared on the component side of the circuit board it looks like I've got the right amount of solder there and I don't think I'd want too much more so that one looks pretty good we have a couple ways of fixing this. I can use my solder sucker and the solder wick. I could just use the solder wick alone. But here, because there's so much solder, I am going to suck it up with the solder wick. There we go. There. And let's get the solder wick out now. hard for me to see here. Oh, there we go. I think, yeah, there we go. Now, now we got, oh, there's a little wee bit left there that we want to clean up yet. Now, let's see how that looks. There, that doesn't look too bad right now from the angle that I'm at. So this is the cleanup that I just did with the solder wick and the solder sucker. I could probably clean this up a little wee bit more to make it look a little wee bit neater and just a lot more professional. Last thing that we're going to do when we're finished soldering is we clean the board with our rubbing alcohol and toothbrush. You never need to clip the leads on the IC sockets or the ICs. It's not necessary. Oh. There we go. And if you want, we can clean the other side here a little bit. So we get all of the residue off. And that is the flux that comes from. Once you've finished scrubbing the board, 
clean with the rubbing alcohol, it's a good idea to take a very close look at the pads and any of the tracks that go in between pads. You want to make sure right in here that there isn't any kind of a connection and there isn't. You want all of the solder joints to look approximately the same. Because I bent these two, they're going to look a little wee bit different than the others. So this is how we would solder an IC or IC socket to a printed circuit board. To summarize, always know where pin 1 is on the printed circuit board and on the IC or IC socket that you're installing on the circuit board. Do not spend too much time on any one connection. Move around and the flux should never look really chocolatey brown because if it does, you are spending too much time on that particular connection and you're starting to burn the flux. The solder should cover up the entire pad. You should not see any evidence of the hole in the printed circuit board and the solder should look like a small volcano. If it starts to look a little bit lumpy, you're putting too much solder on. If you happen to put too much solder on the circuit board, then you can always remove it either with a solder sucker or solder wick and start all over again. But in between the processes, always wash the board clean with rubbing alcohol and your toothbrush. Good luck and happy soldering.